Now, memory leaks happen is probably the number one thing that most C programmers have on their mind when they write code. There are a couple of rules of thumb people use to cope with just how bad memory management is in C, such as make sure there's at least one delete for every new. But generally, the reason memory leaks are so bad in C++ is that memory leaks don't produce errors. When they happen, C++ programs just continue running until they don't, if you know what I mean. For example, let's uh, consider something like this. Now, when you look at this code, it's obvious what the issue is. There isn't really a lot to think about on how to fix it. Just add a delete. Well, that's all right, but it doesn't really fix the issue of memory leaks being silent and hard to track down in large code bases. Now, if you're using C++11 or higher, it's recommended to use smart pointers. In fact, most C++ experts recommend never using naked news. So let's replace that with a smart pointer. Now, that's a lot better. This smart pointer will automatically delete the memory after it goes out of scope, and you don't have to worry about memory as much anymore. But this isn't a good solution for everyone. Let's say you already have a code base written with a bunch of news and deletes, and you don't have time to get into the weeds and refactor all of the code, or maybe, or maybe you're using a more primitive language such as C. Okay, so let's get back to the original leaky code that we had. Now, we're going to compile this with address sanitizer enabled. Okay, so we compile our code with address sanitizer enabled. Now, keep in mind, the address sanitizer is awesome for a lot more than just detecting memory leaks. But today, I'm going to keep it simple and show you the basics. Now, you may notice that the compiler didn't give me any errors when I compiled it. And that's because the address sanitizer works when you run your code, meaning you have to actually run your program to detect issues. So let's actually run this. And look at that, just like magic, it detected a memory leak on line three. Now, keep in mind, the address sanitizer should only be used to debug your programs. Since the sanitizer slows down your code a lot, I've tried using this in a couple of my SDL programs, and the slowdown is really pronounced. Now, I hear that it is faster than other tools such as Valgrind, but I haven't really compared the two, so maybe I'll do a video about it. Okay, so anyways, that is all for this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one, and I will see you later.